Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Sorry that I am connecting my chat. <laughs> How are you? How was your day? Mm. Really? Okay, who is going to the call? I just listened to the Tigres del Norte. What happened? I said, <laughs> Hello, Luis Roberto, are you going to the concert? Uh, my dad went ah. to go. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I like Los Tigres del Norte. Well, I, I do like a lot of different types of music, right? But the Los Tigres del Norte are Los Tigres del Norte. So my respect. And even if you say, Ush, I don't like it. I don't like that music. Mm. <laughs> that you say, I know, teacher, I hate that music. Ush. And when they start, they start. Well, my dear students, today is our last uh, Friday together. Then we're going to have classes on Monday and Tuesday, right? And for sure, uh, that will be the end of your, of your module. And you are going to uh, start your vacations. And for sure, then you are going to start the next module in January. Did you finish the signing up? ¿Ya hicieron su proceso de inscripción? No, todavía no han enviado nada de eso. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I, I don't know if you haven't. Have you checked your email in Unwanted? No. ¿Ya revisaron ahí en hasta en No Deseados? Yeah. Yes. No. Ok, let me see. So um, I think we need to we need to to ask Jefferson about the inscription process, about the registration process. So I am going to send a message to him right now. Okay. I am going to send a message to him so he can give us more information. Well, but in the meantime, I am going to start the class. Well, so today we are going to finish practicing the different forms. Uh, before everything, welcome everybody. It is a great happiness to have all of you here again in a different class, right? So tell me something curious that happened during your day. Something curious that happened during your day. I don't know. The day has different moments that you say, like, hey, that was that was awkward. That was fun. That was curious. Did anything curious happen to you today? No? Or anything funny that you say, ay, teacher, mira lo que me pasó. <laughs> anything funny on your day? Nothing. Uh, yes. Um, uh -huh. in, in the morning, I found um, one done. Uh -huh. um, but in the afternoon, I I can uh, I can I can find the coin. In my wallet. Oh, really? So yes, you... I saved, I saved the, the coin, but um, 
um, um, I need uh, one time um, to buy something. And, and you didn't have it? And, uh, yes. It disappeared. <laughs> what a cool. It was like, hmm, curious. Okay. So you see, it was like, that's something curious, right? That you got it in the morning, you save it, and then it disappeared because you didn't find it. Maybe it is going yes. to appear. It is going to appear somewhere else. You know, it happens to be that I have I have an earring. I have an earring, but it's only one because I lost the other one. And curiously, the earring appears in different places. In some cases, it is in my purse. In some cases, it is in my laptop purse. In some cases, it's on my drawer. And I am like, I didn't move it. How did it get here? So it's a mystery. That's the mystery of the earring. I never found the other one, but I always find the one that I have in different places. I think I just move it unconsciously, but it appears there. So tell me another curious or funny thing that happened to you today. Uh -huh. Something curious, something funny. Or something that you Teacher, want to share? Uh -huh. In my case, it, um, no, curious, no. Uh -huh. But uh, a, kind, or a, a kind surprise. Uh -huh. or, surprising, you say, surprising. Yes, pero agradable. Uh, uh, nice surprise. Nice surprise happened to me uh -huh. uh, because uh, uh someone special for me got me this <laughs> this t-shirt oh really yes <laughs> oh that's uh, so nice yes uh, so. because uh, my birthday was about uh, let me uh 14 years 14 uh, 14 <laughs> days ago oh really <laughs> yes. so you got you got your shirt Yes. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. I really like that. I really like that when you feel surprised and when you get something that you like, for sure, that is something pretty awesome, right? That's so, so good. I really like it. And for sure, it's from Argentina. I think they are going to win. I don't know. I imagine. I imagine. Algo me dice que van a ganar. <laughs> Do you do you think that these uh, games and stuff are real or they are pre-made? What do you think that all this thing of the World Cup, que todo el mundial y todas esas cosas are real or they are arranged? Real. Real. Yes. Real real 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> real, real. Uh -huh. The other boys, what do you think? Luis Fernando, Walter, what do you think? Jose Arturo. And the um, girls too, what do you think? Um, maybe, maybe can be uh, on a range, but um, the football, the football, soccer, soccer, uh -huh. soccer, a soccer match is, uh, Um, it's not certain, certainly. Okay, it's not certainly. Okay, it's not certain. Luis Fernando, what do okay. you think? Uh, I think that this next game uh, it will be a big surprise. <laughs> for, okay, so, so. For, for some people, Argentina will be the next champion, but uh -huh. for another, France. Uh, would be the champion oh. also. But, uh, oh, you see, I you have Argentina fans. But my, my opinion is going to Argentina. Okay, Argentina. Yes. Your opinion Argentina. goes for Argentina. Okay. Yes. So, and everything is real for you? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think, yes. Walter <laughs> René, what do you think? 
to me, I think it's a range. It's a range. Uh, for the, the, the power of the money. Yeah. Okay, for okay. the power of money. Uh -huh. It can be. That's what I think. Carlos Alfredo, what do you think? I am creating the polemic topic. <laughs> uh, do you, do you, are you speaking about soccer? No, uh -huh, but if I, I, I am, the question is that if you consider that the things in the World Cup are real or they are arranged. Mm -hmm. I don't know, teacher. Um, <laughs> I sure think uh, very well about it. Okay, it can be. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> a clear opinion. <laughs> you don't have a clear a clear opinion about it. Well, but that's good. It is good. It is very good. So it can be right. Either way, it can be a real or a range. What about the girls? What do you think? Any girl? Who wants to share? I want to know if that is real. That everything is real. Okay, so I consider that most of the things are kind of arranged. Some others might be uh, real, but yes, it is like it is. It is indeed. Well, so we are going to uh, work a little bit on. Uh, some readings, right? I am going to work on some readings. And later on, for sure, we're going to keep discussing, right? We're going to keep discussing different things about, uh, it is not like, let me see, here we go. It's not about football anymore, okay? I don't want you to fight. For you not to fight, be like, not nah, teacher, this or that, yeah, yeah. No, it is going to be something uh, different, right? It's going to be something different. So I am going to share uh, my screen right now. I cannot share it in a different way. So I'm going to share it like this. Okay. And here we have a couple of topics, right? We have a couple of topics and they, they, it is called Tell Me About. And we have 12 different topics, right? We have 12 different topics, the ones that we are going to discuss. But uh, you are going to choose one. You are going to choose one of them for you to focus your talk on this one, right? Here we have, uh, you can tell me about a really fun job that you had before. You can tell me about a, a funny story about a friend. You can also tell me about an exciting holiday that you have had. You can say, uh, you can talk about a time that you won a prize. You can tell me about the best birthday party you have had, a funny story about your family, a difficult job that you have made. My parents were very proud of me on that moment. A time I was very late. I met someone very interesting. My worst experience at a restaurant and the worst party. So what are you going to do? I need you to choose one of the topics. I need you to choose one of the topics and I need you to write about it, okay? I need you to write down some ideas about the topic because later you are going to share with your friends, okay? I need you to choose one topic. I need you to write or sketch some ideas. What is the meaning of a sketch? A sketch means uh, put into paper, right? A sketch. A sketch is like when you make a draft. When you make a draft, you make a borrador, right? You sketch a draft about some ideas, right? You can sketch some ideas and for sure, later on, you can create your story. Primero vamos a poner unas cuantas ideas en papel para que organicen su historia. And then you are going to share it, okay? We are going to work in groups of three and you are going to share your story with your group, okay? So right now I need you to choose one of them, a really fun job that you had, a funny story about your friend, an exciting holiday, a time that you won a prize, the best birthday party, 
a funny story about your family, a difficult job that you have made, a moment in your life on with your parents who were very proud of you, a time you were very late, uh, a time on which you met someone very interesting, and the worst experience at a restaurant and the worst party that you have had. Choose one. Choose one topic. And then you are going to tell me. I am going to go asking one by one about the topic. Sandra Cecilia, do you have your topic already? Story about my family. A funny story about your family. Carlos Alfredo? When a really fun job and I met someone very interesting. Okay, you have two, that's cool. Uh, okay, a really fun job that you have had and when you met someone very interesting. Jose Arturo, what is your topic? Um, the worst, the worst party. The worst party, okay. Jose yeah. Isaias, what is your topic? Uh, my parents were very proud of me. My parents were very proud of me, very good. Walter René? What is your topic? Uh, a really fun job. A really fun job. Olivia? My child. Which one? My child. Okay, but from these topics that I am showing you, what topic are you going to write about? De estos temas que le muestro, ¿cuál es el que va a tomar para eh, escribir acerca de él? Um, a difficult job. A difficult job. Okay, good, very good. Let's see, eh, Paula Maria. The best birthday party. The best birthday party ever? Sorry? This topic to the best birthday party. The best birthday party, very good job. Luis Fernando, which one are you going to talk about? A difficult job. A difficult job, Alejandra? The best birthday party. The best birthday party. Uh, Rosa Esmeralda? Uh, anxiety holiday. Which one? Uh, anxiety holiday. An exciting, let me holiday. see. An exciting holiday, very good, thank you. Let's see, Jasmine, what topic are you going to talk about? One moment, please. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. I drag him out. Don't worry, don't worry. One Ask minute, him. please. Go ahead. A uh, time I won a prize. A time I won a prize. Very good. And let me see, who am I missing to ask? Lily, I know you're busy, but I don't know if you have chosen a topic. Okay. Let's see. Who am I missing to ask? ¿A quién no le he consultado? Uh -huh. Luis Me. Roberto, go ahead. Which topic are you going to talk about? A uh, really fun job. A really fun job. Yes. Okay. So, so I need you please to sketch some ideas. Organize your ideas and then you are going, once you have them organized on a paper, you can tell the story, okay? Porque pasa de repente que empezamos a hablar de una cosa y como no hemos ordenado las ideas, no brincamos a hablar otra y otra y otra y otra y ahí volvemos al tema. So try to organize your story on paper and then we are going to share it with everybody. If you have questions, if you have questions, teacher, how do you say this? Teacher, how do you say that? I will be more than glad to answer, okay? If you have questions about vocabulary, go ahead. Thank you. 
If you need help with vocabulary, let me know. Teacher, my topic uh, uh, is a time I was very late. Okay, a time I was very late. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. I got the real life stories, right? I think I could talk about any of them. <laughs> sí. Okay, I will give you three more minutes for you to organize your ideas. And then I will give you two more minutes for you to practice. And then I am going to send you to the groups. Yep. Yep. I can listen to the news. I don't know who's listening to the news. Okay. Okay, I am going to show you some examples of uh, stories. I'm going to show you some examples of stories and you are going to get some ideas on how to create yours, right? It says like, who was she, where was she and what was happening, right? You have your situation about what was happening. This is what was happening. It was, a time I won a prize, an exciting holiday, the best party, the story about my family, the worst party, right? That is a, what you are going to talk about. Here, for example, we have a story about a girl and it starts with a point in time, as you can see, right? It starts with a point in time. Yesterday, it was raining and thundering all day. So on your story, you have to set the time on which it happened, okay? Lo más importante para empezar la historia es cuando sucedió. You say, yesterday, last year, two years ago, before the pandemic, during the pandemic, in 2001, in 2002, when I was a kid, right? You have to start with a point in time and then you set up the story you tell me a little bit of what was going on and for sure you describe the situation, right? In this case, you have, for example, it was raining and thundering and Anna was playing inside the house. She wanted to be outside. She wasn't playing outside because it was raining. She was feeling tired of being trapped in the house. Then you set up the story and then you describe it, right? Anne was trying to keep busy inside the house. She was reading her book until the electricity went out. Then she decided to practice her sewing. She was practicing sewing until lunchtime. After lunch, she sat by the window and watched the rain. So it describes in detail, right? If you are going to talk about the worst party, you are not going to say, yeah, it was horrible teacher, very bad. No, that is not the way to describe it. You have to tell me, when was the party, what was going on, who was there, who was invited, right? You have to give details because that is the magic of the narrative tenses, right? That is the magic of the stories when you give details. So um, that's how it goes, right? And then you point it out, 
what happened and then the solving point, right? It was like in the end, while they were praying, the rain stopped, but Anne didn't even notice. She was having such a good time with her mom, right? The ending of the story. It has the same things, right? Las historias tienen siempre el comienzo, la descripción, el, el punto más alto y del clímax, del éxtasis que estaba pasando, and then la resolución y el final. So those are the points of the story. You need to have all these points when you share something. So if you have it, I need you to practice a little bit the story, practice the description of it, practice describing your topic. And now I am going to make the groups for you to go and share. Okay. I am going to call the attendance first. Le voy a pasar lista primero para que se puedan ir los grupos eh, y puedan ir a compartir su historia. Okay. Just let me open here. Here we're going to go to the groups. And then I am going to ask for some volunteers to share the story with us. Let's go here. Alejandra Cristina. Present. Thank you. Eh, Astrid Michelle. Present teacher. Blanca Estela. Carlos Alfredo. Present. Claudia Yanes. Ever de Jesús. Present, Miss. Gabriela Stephanie. Present, Miss. Gladys Imelda. Eh, Griselda Elizabeth. Jasmine Vanessa. Present, Miss. Joaquín. José Arturo. Present. José Manuel. Josué Isaías. Present teacher. Thank you. Lilian. Present. Luis Fernando. Present. Luis Roberto. Present. Madeline. Manuel. Manuel Aristides. Olivia Manuel. Present. Paola María. Present. Rosa Esmeralda. Sandra Cecilia. Present. Thank you. Walter René. Present. Thank you. Present. Jenny Maritza. And teacher Nati. Good. So we are complete. <laughs> we are complete. I always call my name. It's like, is that teacher? No, we not. <laughs> okay, so I am going to send you to work in the groups. Prepare your story, okay? Prepare your story because you have to give as many details as possible, right? I need you to create the story very well for you to share it with your friends. We are going to have groups of three and for sure we are going to be, uh, we are going to be sharing with all of you a little bit. I am going to enter to the groups to listen to your stories and for sure uh, to share a little bit with all of you. Okay, accept my invitation to go to the groups and share. Share as many details as possible. You can ask questions. Pueden hacer preguntas también. So let's do it. Hello, Gladys. Welcome. I just, I just you are, come home. <laughs> you are just arriving. Yo dije, yo dije, no llego, no llego. No, but you are here. You are here. That, that's the most important thing, that you are here and that you are safe and sound. That's the most important part. Okay. What are we doing right now? Right now, Gladys, uh, students chose a topic for them to discuss, I am going to show it to you. I am going to show you the topics 
and I am going to show you what they are doing, okay? Here you have these topics that I have here um, were the ones that they discussed, okay? They chose one of the topics and they wrote about it. And they are going to share their topic with the group. Carlitos, didn't you receive the invitation to go to the groups? Yeah, <clears throat> I received. Yeah, but you, you are not in the group. Let me move you. I will move you to, okay. I will move you to another group. Okay. And so Gladys, I need you, sorry, I need you to choose one of these ones. I need you to choose a topic and I need you to talk about the topic on the group. Paula Maria, didn't you receive the invitation? Paulita, I mean, I <laughs> she left. Okay, so uh, I need you to choose one. Which topic would you like to talk about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A time I was very late today. <laughs> <laughs> Never in your life. <laughs> Oh, I don't like when uh, I'm not on time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know you are very punctual. Well, maybe a funny story about my friend. Okay, a funny story about my friend. So mm -hmm. try to build it up a little bit. Try to build it up uh, the details. And I am going to add you to one group right now. You can listen to them and then you can share at the end, okay? Okay. So in the meantime, you can build up your story. Go ahead. Oops. I lose it. <laughs> you lost it. Let's see. Okay, I will send you to, but all of them are complete. Okay, ignore this one, please. And I am going to move you again. Te voy a volver a mover ahorita. Okay. There you go. Now, this one for group number three. Accept the one for group number three. It's not coming. It's not appearing. Nothing. Nothing, Gladys. Nothing. Okay, let me move you again. I oh, see. Nothing. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Now, I will stop sharing, maybe. Let me try something. Which group? Group three. Three. Here is a button. Let me check. Salad. No. Está en mi contra este teléfono. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my night. Yeah, because I add you in group number three. No, teacher, I can't. Okay, let me uh, let uh, me puedo desconectar y volver a conectar a ver si funciona. Okay, let me check. Let me check. I am going to go to one group. Stay here. Stay here. Okay. Lógicamente cada quien va a pensar en su historia de una forma individual. Yes. Okay. Este es el momento de cuéntamelo todo. Okay. You are going to enter, you are going to share your story and we're going to say, like, you know, friends, there was one moment in 2001 on which, ta, 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 and then you start talking, right? A difficult job. I can give you one example. I can talk about a difficult job. I remember that in 2008, I was doing my social service at the university 
And they told me that I needed to do some uh, translations for some letters. And I said, ah, that's very easy. I said, I'm going to just translate some letters. But the thing is that there were 400 letters every week. And I was like, what? 400 letters every week. And I was studying, I was working, and I was doing many things. So I used to translate the letters at night. So uh, that was a very difficult job for me because I was studying in the morning, working in the afternoon, and translating at night. So I never have the time to sleep. So that was the most difficult job that I have done. That's the story, right? Yay, you say. That was my yes. <laughs> Thank you very uh, much. Uh -huh. Now tell me about you. Well, I, I was talking with them and the, my difficult job uh, really is like I spend the time like uh, every day to to make uh, my job. Yes, I, I got to, to get up very early in the morning and come back to the home very late. And the, in, immediately, I, I got to work nine or 10 hours to the day. Yes, and but I I never uh, work in the home. Just, uh, yes, uh, I always uh, work uh, my, uh, I only, uh, all the time I try to get, to get my job inside the facilities of the enterprise. Oh, so yes. you never took job to your house? No, never. Oh, that's never. so good. That is really awesome. That, yes, it's, it's, it's something that I I practice all my, all my life. Yeah, I do the same. Yes. I don't like yes. it. OK, so very good story. Now the next, continue with your stories. OK, vaya, ahora. Olivia, no sé si ya la compartió, Walter. So, go ahead. Huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell me. <laughs> you finished your stories? Yes. yes. My God, that yes. was so quick. <laughs> uh -huh. So, let's see. Carlos, tell me about Arturo. What did he talk about? The que habló Arturo? Um, Today my one a really fun job. Uh -huh. So tell me the story. ¿Qué les contó? Uh, okay. Uh, three years ago, I met a place where I was working about developing apps for Android. The job was so funny that I enjoyed listening to customers. They, they say to me, hey, Carlos, I need your talent for my business. Uh -huh. During the day, my job consists of listening to customers for knowing their needs and after developing an app for device Android. At the end of the day, every customer took a breakfast for me and they admit my talent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh -huh. good, good story. Good story, but I ask you, lo que le pregunté fue, ¿qué compartió Arturo? ¿Qué recuerda de lo que le dijo Arturo? Um, um, I shared two stories. The first two one, stories, uh-huh. Uh yeah, um, the first one is the worst party, and the second, um, on a fun job, funny job. Ajá. Uh -huh. What was the worst party of Jose Arturo? <laughs> Tell me. ¿Cuál fue la peor fiesta de José Arturo? He's share it. Uh -huh. uh, I guess they, I they guess were that, not paying they, attention. Huh? I don't remember. <laughs> ya no they were drinking a lot. <laughs> ah, it was a lot of, okay, a lot of drink, drinking was included. Ah, okay. Is it true, Yeah. Ah, my goodness, right? Yeah, I drank a lot, <laughs> and and I and I couldn't remember anything. Um, 
the next morning I I wake in my in my home. In you my woke house, up in uh, your house? Yes. <laughs> so you don't know how, but you did it. I I don't I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, well, I think it was not the worst. I think it is the best. <laughs> because you remember it with love <laughs> okay <laughs> finish sharing okay ya ven que hay que poner atención a lo que nos están compartiendo nuestros compañeros remember your stories because later if I ask you you are not going to know what to say ya cuando les diga ajá Jasmine compártame acerca de Carlos acerca de Luis Roberto ah, 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 you don't know right so please catch up a little bit with your stories go ahead ajá Did you finish? Yes, yeah. teacher. Okay, tell me a little bit of what you remember from your friends. ¿Qué recuerdan de las historias de sus amigos? over the teacher said to Your father and they feel probably. Okay, so what was the moment, Isaías? Did you receive a prize or something? Ah, uh, okay. No, no, no. Uh, only the. Uh, the congrats for my parents. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. How cool. Nice. It is very nice when you receive a, one of these moments of proudness. That's so cool. Gladys, thank you for being here. <laughs> you could do it, right? Al fin pudo entrar. That's so nice. So, yeah, but I, I, I had to disconnect. Yeah, you had to disconnect and to Go. connect again. Yeah. What, what did Sandra talk about? I can't listen because it... it ah, you uh, were not here. Okay, okay. No, no, no yet. Okay. And also, uh, the internet is no helping me. I know, I know. All is wrong <laughs> tonight. I, it's so difficult. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, uh, but uh, you see, you can say a challenging night in my classes, right? One day I was trying to connect with teacher Nati and it was so horrible. I was connecting here, disconnecting there and nothing worked, right? I was trying to listen to my friends' stories but nothing worked. Huh? That can well, be it. <laughs> also- I don't have any story. I know <sighs> that I have a good one but I don't remember. <laughs> It, it, it happens it happens because uh, when we remember the stories then we forget everything then yeah so, and then you say like ah les hubiera compartido esto at three in the morning right <laughs> i know that will happen to me for sure let me check yeah, the last, the, yeah. let me uh, share a good story gladys okay compartanle que ha sido lo más divertido que ha fotografiado i don't know something like that Okay, I don't remember. <laughs> ah, come on, I will come back in a moment. Okay, think about it. The turkey. Uh huh. Did you finish sharing your stories? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Teacher. What did Alejandra talk about? ¿De qué les she talked about, hmm? talk about the, the, the best birthday party. Okay, and what happened in the best birthday party? It was when she ha had um, eight Seven. years old. Eight years old? Yes. Okay, and, and what, what she, made it she special? Loved it. She loved it because she received a lot, of, a lot of presents. Hey, so nice. What was the best present, Alejandra? Actually, I don't remember, but I think it was a, a doll. A doll. Good. Yeah. And what about Ever? What did he talk this... about? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever. It was the same topic. Uh-huh. The same topic. So what it, do you remember? It was the same topic. For him, but... it was the, his son's birthday. Oh, his son's birthday. 
How old was they his went son? Into, in two days. On the first day, they went to Buffalo Wings because the, it's his son's favorite restaurant. Ooh. In the second day, they went to Costa del Sol. Ah, the yes. beach. I'm so sorry. I think that is the best gift for anybody. If they say, I will take you to the beach. Mm -hmm. I just love it. I agree too. <laughs> yeah, what a nice thing. Ever. Yes. Very nice. And can you see and can you see the sunrise in your face? Uh, it's unbelievable now. It's so beautiful. So and how old is your kid? Yes. 15 years old. F 15 years old. Ah, yeah, that's why. It was a very nice gift. And Astrid, what did yeah. Astrid talk about? What did Astrid talk about? She won something the first time. The first time she won something. Oh, what did you win? Yeah. I win the first. I won the first place in a, a spelling bee contest. Oh, really? Where at Just your when school? I was when I was in third grade. Ay, how nice. I remember that I won, um, it was an oratory contest when I was in sixth grade. And it was in the, in the, at first it was in the school's level. Then I went to the uh, city level. And then I went to the uh, departmental level. And then I went to the national contest and it was so great because I was there talking about the rights of the girls and the boys. Mm -hmm. That's why I talk a lot. It has been in my blood forever. <laughs> I love to talk in public. So, and I won the contest. I remember that it was in the national theater. It was a very cool thing. Eee, I was in sixth grade, 12 years old. It was very mm -hmm. beautiful. Well, so that is so fantastic that we had the chance to actually share. Let's go back to the main room to share with all the group, okay? Welcome back. And here I go. Okay, my dear students, welcome back. Thank you for sharing. I was in the different groups listening to the stories that you were sharing, and it is so nice to have you remembering. What do we need to work on a little bit more? We need to work on giving details, right? We need to give more details because that's the, that's the magic of stories, right? To give as many details as possible. So let me see. Is there anybody who listened to a curious, nice story that you want to comment about? Alguien escuchó algo que usted diga, hey teacher, I, I heard about this in my group and I like it. Um yes, I I I I remember about um Jasmine. Uh-huh. Um, and she has a, a worst party. <laughs> what was Jasmine's party? <laughs> um, one of hill, one of his hills, um, is broken. Oh my! And, God. And I, I, I imagine um, it's really um embarrassed because uh she walked and up and down up and down up and down and poor jasmine <laughs> and looking for jasmine walking 
on the street. You were like, yes. <laughs> Poor Jasmine. Jasmine, in, in yes, those cases, good. in those cases, you break the other one. That is the solution. <laughs> yeah. Y eso es como solución para todas las mujeres. Si se le quiebra un tacón, quiebra el otro. And that's it. Yes, teacher, I decided to break the hell of the, another, the other food. Yeah, it's yes, true. It's I mean, you can, that's the only thing that you can do. Because if not, you are like, um, <laughs> through life. But uh, uh, we, we have analyzed, analyzed about the future. All the girls, all women, uh, will have pega loca. <laughs> yeah, it works. I I do have in my purse. I have in my purse. Mostly if you wear sandals. Yeah, las más traicioneras son las sandalias. Yeah, because if one thing just if one strap ruins, then the whole sandal ruins. <laughs> Crazy glue on the purse all the time. Cinco yeah. centavos bien gastado. Keep it there. Yeah, hasta tres por una cora le dan. <laughs> so please. Yeah, pega loca, no me paga nada por estos anuncios. So that is, that it's cool, right? Jose Arturo shared a very nice story. Sorry, Jasmine, for your shoe, right? We are going to work a little bit on uh, pre-made stories. Here we have another short story. And in this one, you are going to help me read it, right? I'm going to make it bigger for you to uh, have the chance to read it. And it says, who were they? What were they doing? And what was happening? Let's see, Alejandra, can you help me with the first paragraph? Yeah. One sunny day, Billy and Timmy were delivering a box to Mr. To Mr. Thompson. The crib was full of glasses, they were carrying the box on, on a cart. They were taking the glasses to Mr. Thompson's store at the end of the street. They were being very careful with the crate full of glasses. Okay, with the crate full of glasses. This is a crate. This is a crate. Una caja de, de madera. And it was full of glasses. It was full of glasses. Llena de vasos de vidrio. So, and they were having it in a crate. Okay, Josue Isaías, what happened next? Second paragraph. As they were passing by the school, they saw Jack and Tom. Jack and Tom were playing soccer. Bill and Timmy asked the other boys for help. The four boys steered a steer is Steer like when they pull, when they pull okay. and push. Uh -huh. Okay. The four boys steer the car through the streets while, while Billy and, Tom and Timmy were pulling from the front. Jack and Tom were pushing from, from behind. Okay. To a steer is to move, right? Arrastrar, llevarse, right? Some of them were pushing, yes. some others were pulling, right? Good. Yeah. Ever, finish with the last paragraph. Okay. As they were walking, Billy and Timmy were getting the cart over bumps on the hulls. They were protecting the glass. When the four boys arrived at the store, Mr. Thompson was waiting for them. While Mr. Thompson was unlading the glasses, he thanks the boys for the third hard work. None of the glasses were broken. The boys were feeling very proud of their hard work. Okay. At the beginning, when you started reading, cuando le empezaron a leer, did you imagine that it was going to be okay with the glasses? I, when I started reading, I said, no, they were going to break everything. That's what I thought at the beginning. But no, I they think, were <laughs> they were being very careful. And here we have how many boys were involved in the story? How many boys oh, four, were four. involved? Four. four. Do you have the four, names of four. them? 
Billy, Timmy, yeah. Tom, Billy, and Jack. Billy, Jack. Tim, Billy, Timmy, Tom, and Jack. 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 Good. Jack. What were they carrying on the box? Oh, glasses. In a car. Glasses. They were carrying they were glasses. Okay. Glasses. Was the street very nice? Hmm. Was the street very nice and straight? What do you think? Hmm. Was the way very nice and smooth? Are you no. no. Okay, and it says they were guiding the car over what? Pumps and, and holes. Over bumps and holes. What are the bumps? No. These are bumps, right? And holes for sure are the batches, right? Over <laughs> holes, pumps and holes. Like in San Salvador, bumps. right? Okay. Like, ahí como, si, si pasa por la Olímpica, la Colonia Roma. Yeah, you have a, a good example of this one, right? Over bumps and holes, right? And they were carrying. What was the name of the owner of the store? Um, Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson, right? The owner of the store was Mr. Thompson. Did all of them pull the car? Um, no. And only Billy and Timmy. Only Billy and uh -huh. Timmy. Only Billy and Timmy were pulling. And the other two, what were they doing? They pushing. They were pushing, right? Two were pulling, two were pushing. And let me see. Uh, what is the next question? And let me see, let me see. What was the reaction of Mr. Thompson at the end? He was proud. He was, proud. he was very proud, right? He was very proud of the hard work of the kids. Now, on this one, I am going to ask you only the questions. We are not going to have the chance to read. As you can see here, what are they doing, people? Dancing. They are dancing, dancing right? Dancing. They are dancing. Good. And I am going to ask you the questions. I will give you one minute for you to scan and read. Escane en el párrafo. Go ahead. Scan and read. Okay. Tell me, when did the story happen? When did this story happen? Last night. Last night, last night. right? Last night. What are the last names night. of the main characters? Dane and Emily. Dane and Emily. How long did they practice? Six months. Long, six months. Six months ago. They practiced for six months, right? Have they, okay, was it the first competition for them or they were very experienced? This is the first, 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 first It was the first competition. It was, yes. It was the first competition. Did they lose or did they win the competition? They won. They, they, they won. They won. Okay, they won the oh, competition. They won the competition. Were they like the good dancers, the best dancers, or the worst dancers of the competitions? They, they were the best, best dancers. They, they were, were the were best that. dancers. They were the best Tell me, have had they practiced before? Yes. 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 No. No, I never practiced before. Never practiced. They never practice that hard, right? They never practice that hard before in front of people, right? And so it was the first time. Did they like it? 
did they like the experience? ¿Creen que disfrutaron la experiencia? Yeah. For yes. sure, right? Because they won Correct. the competition. So, my dear class, I am going to assign, just like in this homework that we were doing, I am going to take you back and I will ask you, please, to read the following. Let me see. I am going to go here. Here. And I am going to go down here. I, I don't have it. Okay. So, but on your book, on your book, you have a reading at the end of the unit. I am going to send you the picture for you to practice that reading. Okay. That is going to be the reading for the weekend. And I need you to practice. Okay. On Monday, we are going to study and we're going to talk about culture and visiting other countries. So that will be our topic for next Monday. Have a beautiful night, my dear class. Enjoy your weekend. Rest a lot. And I'm going to see you on Monday for your next class. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Take Bye. care. Bye.